Hello and good afternoon. It is Tuesday, October 29th, and I'm trying something new. So I, as you can see, this is Brom, my um, High Mountain Torn Hunter, and I have always enjoyed creating a garrison in WoW um, from the Warlords of Draenor expansion. And I've always taken the long route, taking my time with it, haven't rushed through it. Well, I love the Hallows End event, and it's going on right now. It ends, it started on the 25th, and it ends on, I believe, November 8th or the 9th. And I always love decorating for the holidays in WoW. You can decorate for Hallows End, you can decorate for um, the winter event, don't don't come for me i can't remember what it is right off the top of my head at the moment um but yeah so in order to do that though you need to have a level three garrison and right now i'm going to log in and show you my progress so far so brahm he was a remix character and i started playing him yesterday again since remix has ended and basically, I wanted to, cre as I said, I wanted to create him a garrison so he could decorate it for the holiday. And to do that, you need gold and you need garrison resources. Now, garrison resources can be acquired a number of ways. In order to get your garrison to level 3, you need 2,000 garrison resources and 5,000 gold. Well, I have the gold because I've been questing and I've been, um, you know, as I said, he's from Remix. So he has some gold from Remix and he has been questing in Dornagall and a couple other places. So yesterday evening, what I did within like a two to three hour span of time, I hopped on my flying mount and I just flew all over basically the map and I'm gonna pull it up so this is Draenor so I basically am here I am in my garrison so I basically just flew all over the only place I didn't hit yet was Nagrand and basically I just flew all over looking for rares and it could be an animal that's a, a rare or it could be an NPC that's a rare they all yield at different amounts and I will um, when I post this video in the description I will have a list of all the uh, rares that I encountered and killed to get garrison resources for and these will be as of 2024 so I'm sure back in the day when this expansion was live, you would get more resources for killing them. Of course, and they, uh, of course, they're, they're, they've been squashed down a bit um, as far as what they'll yield uh, now that the expansion is no longer live. But I will have a list of the ones I used. And basically, I started out with like, between I think it was 37 to 43 garrison resources and this is what I mean and the cap as you can see is 10,000 so with that small amount I flew around and I have accumulated so far 894 now I did use a couple of those resources I, as you can see I'm going to zoom out this is the lumber mill and it is under construction i'm about to finalize it since i've just logged back in and with the lumber mill you can go around all over the map wherever you can get timber and you can mill the timber and then turn it into the lumber mill and it will generate garrison resources now there is a timer on it it will be like a 24-hour timer it doesn't just happen overnight um, in order to get the full payload for that so that's this is one place you can get it and then there's the rares and then every day that you log in your garrison if you let your garrison resources build up this little pile here your garrison cash the max it will generate is 500 now it has not been I don't think a full 24 hours yet so if I click on it now let's see how much I have 79 so that was not a full cash obviously 
All right, so that now gives me 973 garrison resources. And as I was saying, I need 2,000. Here it is. Here's the quest. My very own fortress. So gather 2,000 garrison resources and then use the architect table to select your town hall and upgrade your garrison to tier 3. So I am almost there. Now, I am going to go finalize the lumber mill. There we go. Lumber mill level one. And we're going to go ahead and pick up our first Speak quest. Friend. Lumber Lord Oaktron. Easing Sorry. into lumberjacking. Uh, basically, we need a lot of lumber if we're going to build this garrison to a suitable fortress. That means we're going to have to do a little work. While I certainly wouldn't ask you to dirty your hands with manual labor, I do need you to go out and find timber for our mill. Once you mark a tree, an able-bodied, lazy, good-for-nothing peon will come and chop it down and give you the timber. Frostfire isn't the best place for timber, but I did see a suitable small tree nearby. Now, he's right. Fr Frostfire Ridge. I'm going to accept the quest. And see, that's going to give me 50 garrison resources right off the bat once I complete this. I'm going to pull the map again. So, as you can see, our garrison here for the Horde is in Frostfire Ridge. For the Alliance, it's in Shadow Moon Valley. There are a ton of trees in Shadow Moon. There are a ton of trees in Spires of Eric. Basically, anywhere other than Frostfire Ridge, there are a ton of resources. You can basically go all around the map and collect lumber and then bring them back to your lumber mill and turn them in for work or orders and once the work order is processed then you can get your garrison resources so we are going to go find the tree he mentioned and we're just going to fly till we find it Looks like it's here. All right. And here we go. So we're going to see how the map says it's small timber. So we're going to. All right. There's a lazy peon and he's going to chop it down for us. And as simple as that, the quest is complete. So we're going to fly back now. Oh, there's a rare. Did I kill that one yesterday? Guru. Guru. Let's see. Did I kill Guru? Nope. He is not on my list. He, she, it, they are not on my list. So I'm going to go and hunt them down. Guru. What is it? Is it in a cave? Might be in a cave. Because I'm not seeing it right here. So, with that, you're going to want to go find a cave entrance. Guru. Yeah. Let's see if they're in here. Guru's Banquet. What is this? Pretty sure I've never been in here. And I'm level 77, so it should be no problem. See, they're not even bothering me. Uh, son of Skog. Groon, son of Skog. We're just going to kill him real quick and see if he... Oh, now they want to bother me. All right, so... Mm, yeah, so he gave us 19 garrison resources. So that's adding to our collection. So I'm going to go around and he gave us 19. All right, so that is amazing. Now all these guys are not going to yield garrison resources, but I can kill them just to see if they will. Nope, no garrison resources. I am out of range. Got 
some frost weed in here. If you're high enough level, you can just, as you can see, basically mow through these guys. If you're, uh, if you're just starting out your garrison, it may be a little tougher if you're trying to do this solo. So I would recommend if you're doing the solo route, go ahead and get a friend or a guildie or someone to help you out. Um, make it easier on yourself. All right, so we are going to turn this in. And... Okay. Here's okay. Go for to victory. You're gonna make a fine overseer, sir. Keep those peons in line. Now you know the basis of logging and finding timber. Time to put them to good use for the good of your garrison. Alright, so you're gonna have apprentice logging added to your skill set and you get fifty. Alright, now look. Next quest automatically. Now that you know how to put peons to work harvesting timber. We're going to create a work order for your mill but first we're going to need some timber to process all around draenor are juicy trees ripe for the chopping go out and find suitable timber for the lumber mill come back here when you have enough and we'll get started on a work order and as usual let the peons do hard work just keep them protected draenor is a dangerous place collect 10 pieces of timber from around draenor and then place a work order at your garrison's lumber mill and the reward will be a little bit of experience, some gold, most importantly, 100 garrison resources. And that will put us at 1142, which is awesome and amazing. So, we are going to... We'll start out in Frostfire Ridge and see if any trees pop up for us. And if you don't want to do this, if you want to go straight to where all the trees are, don't forget what I said. Basically, everywhere else other than Frostfire Ridge has an abundance of trees that you can harvest. And those are not trees, that's just herbs. Oh, there's another rare, Primalist Murog. Primalist Murog. All right, let's record that one. And let's see what he yields. 19 garrison resources, so we got some. Cat, well, we got some uh, silver and copper and leggings and 19 garrison resources, so that's awesome. All right, so we're just going to mount up. And rares. I don't have an exclusive uh, comprehensive list for rares. You could probably check Wowhead and they probably have a definitive list of rares for Warlords of Draenor. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, I haven't looked to be honest with you. I literally just flew around just to see what I could find. Um, is that one? No. Those are trees but I can't harvest those. Anything here? I don't think so. Oh! What was that? Uh oh. There was something here. Timber. What was it? I did have the cog for a moment. 
Alright, we're just gonna... Anything back here? No, nothing there. I had the cog for a moment. Whenever you're, or saw blade, it's not really a cog. I would say it's a saw blade to indicate that something is millable. I had it for a moment. I don't see it now. It's not that one. Maybe I was mistaken, but I thought I saw it. Anything? Nope. Oh, go away, guys. Go away. Alright, I'm gonna search through here one more time and then head out. Because I don't want to waste a lot of time. Looking for a maybe. But I swear something popped. Then again, someone could have harvested if they're on a different um Yeah, it could have been harvested by another player and I just didn't see them. Alright, well Onward we go. As you can see, as I was saying, Frostfire Ridge is, for the most part, pretty barren when it comes to trees. So, if I don't find anything in the next couple minutes, I will broaden my search to the places where I know I can find trees to harvest. Oh, that was rare. That was rare. Who is that? Who am I looking for? The beater. Did I get them yesterday? Let's see. Let's check my list. I wrote them down. Beater. I'm not seeing them on the list from yesterday. Yep, I am not seeing them on the list. Alright, so showing that they're down. So there's got to be a cave somewhere. Where was. If I were a cave, where would I be? And it's back that way. The beater. Now I do know the entrance to the mines is over here. We can pop in there and see if... No. Not there. I don't want to spend too much time. This looks like something. What is this? Blade Spire Citadel.
You know, I think I looked for this one yesterday and I couldn't find the find where they were located. I think this is one from my failed attempts to locate them. See, the um, marker is indicating that they're underneath us. And I never could. Yesterday, I did try to look for this one. Yesterday, I could not locate it either. Because it looks like they're in a cave, maybe. And I did not see an entrance anywhere. So we will come back another day, another hour, later on, and see if I can locate that one. But in the meantime, I really... Oh, there's another one. Canyon... Oh. That actually looks like a cool... Would be a cool hunter's pet. Oh, it's a mommy feeding her babies. And it has three eyeballs. Does it have three eyeballs? It, okay, that is really cool looking. And I hate that I have to kill it right now. Um, <laughs> maybe I tame it and then, and then wait to respawn. Let's do that. I'm gonna, that's a cool looking, um, creature. All right, so who is this? Canyon... Ice mother. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try taming it. Hopefully, her babies won't attack me. Is it tameable? That's, I guess I should. Yeah, it's tameable. All right. Well. Too far away. Oh, great. And here come the babies. And she kept her name, Canyon Ice Mother. All right, guys, back off. I'm just going to have to kill babes. I'm sorry, dudes. Dagger, it's a Dagger Maw Ice Gazer. I'm going to, um, that is a cool looking pet. I have not, I've been playing Warcraft since 2008, and I have never encountered the canyon ice mother um of course i have this is my first time to focus my attention on hunting rares look at that that is just so freaking cool okay focus <laughs> all right now we have to wait for her to respawn or maybe i can come back later where am i dagger maw ravine where am I on the map? So this is where I am. This is where she was. I'm going to take a screenshot. And, oh, she respawned already. Mm, I like, I like having pears. Um... It's just really cool. All right. Um, I'm going to tame it again. <laughs> and then I'll, when it responds, I'll um, kill that one. Ah, this is such a cool looking pet. Okay. Cool beans. All right. Now we will... Spawn time wasn't very long, what, a minute or two? So, I am going to remember that one. Dagger Maw Ravine.
And while we're waiting, looks like there's an ore I can harvest. And there she is, and let's see what she yields. Anything? Ah, oh, she didn't give us anything. What? Maybe because I tamed her? Ah. Nuts. Okay. Well, shoot. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on. Let's continue. All right, I am hunting for a tree. Where am I likely to find them? Maybe this way. Anything over here? Anything I can harvest? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. These look like a no-go. Alright, well, we're not going to waste any time flying around. We are going to go to... Gorgon is closest, so we're going to fly over there. This objective does not yield garrison resources, so we're going to ignore it. Alright. Now, hopefully we can find... A couple trees rather quickly. There's one. See when the saw blade pops up? You know you can harvest it. And of course, the, the glistening gives it away too. Yes. Alright, so how many do we need? We need ten. So that was five. And there's a rare. Dr. Gloom. Oh, and see the little dot. 
small timber. There we go. All right, so it's marked on our mini map. I must get closer. I was close, I thought. What do you want? All right, and there's another one behind us. We're gonna go ahead and, well, I guess we'll get Dr. Gloom first. Dr. Gloom is a goblin? Sorry, dude, we gotta die for the cause. Let's see what you yield. 20 garrison resources, I'll take it. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and grab some of this timber. So we have it ready to go when we need it again. Um, I don't think I can mill this one. Yeah, it requires number two. That one is small timber, though. And there's another rare, Underseer Blood Mane. to be in a cave somewhere. Ooh, building maybe. Underseer blood mage. Twelve. I'll take it. do we have so far? We're up to 1,093. I wish they would just mark them on the huge map. That would be so helpful. Mini map is great, but huge map would be better so you could plot your plot your course. There's something down here. Um there. Yes. I can't harvest that one. Too big. I need a bigger lumber mill. Ah, 
that's the large lumber mill. All right, so I know I have enough to turn in the quest. Um, bag. How much lumber? I have 31. That's good for now. So I'm just going to hearth back to my garrison. Turn in the quest. Now, I don't just want to decorate the garrison. The garrison at level 3 or tier 3 or... What in the world just happened? It didn't hearth me. <laughs> what? I'm still in the same location. What happened? All right, well, we'll just fly. Oh, okay. We'll just fly home. <laughs> it's not too far. Um, as I was saying, a tier 3 garrison, you can do so many things. That's when, if you're one of those people who are trying to make, um, oh, Cyclonic Fury, passive gold, um, having a tier 3 garrison, there are so many things you can do to accomplish that. How many? 16, gar 16 garrison resources, and that was the Cyclonic Fury. Alright. Yeah, once you have a tier 3 garrison, it really opens up what you can do in terms of uh, making passive gold. And by passive, I mean you can have a level 3 garden, you can have uh, a level 3 trading post with its own auctioneer, you can have um, traders come and trade you, um, you know, vital materials for, you know, garrison resources or things of, things of that nature. You could, I mean, there's so many opportunities to, to earn passive gold once you get to, get it to tier three. It just takes a minute. All right. So I'd like to submit a work order. I'm not going to do create all. I'm just going to start the work order and turn in the quest. That's how it's done, Commander. We're now fully operational. Anytime, anytime you have enough timber to place the work order, come, come on back to me and we'll get started. This garrison ain't going to build itself and we get 100 garrison resources. Now, when you are, when you do have timber to turn back into him, you literally can just come and click on him and you can start a work order. I only have 11 and it takes 10 to do, um, so we're just going to do that. Straight. And I'm actually going to go see how much I need to upgrade that lumber mill to, um, tier two. So... Zero garrison resources, but 500 gold. And what... This is the guy with the plans. Yo! Alright, so I'm looking for lumber mill. Level 2. Did I miss it? Oh, 
thousand gold. All right, so a thousand gold. Let's sell this stuff. And I have ten thousand seven ten. All right, so I'm gonna sell. I don't need this lower level gear. All right, so I need. Let's write this down. I need a thousand gold for lumber mill. Level two. And I also want to start my trading post. Uh, trading post. I saw trading post level two. Yeah, trading post level two is also a thousand gold. Doesn't say how much level one is. Trading post level two is a thousand gold. Keep it real. And so right now, my great hall. My garrison is level two. To upgrade it, as I was telling you, I need 2,000 garrison resources and 5,000 gold. So I do not, absolutely do not want to diminish this amount that I have right now before I add to it because I definitely want to have the 5,000 gold and as you saw, to get a lumber mill level two is a thousand gold. A trading post level two is a thousand gold. So it, it it's a gold suck. Okay, it will make you gold, but you have to spend gold up front for sure um, to get going. Now, I'm looking for the trading post. It is a medium sized plot, so I only have two small plots, so I can't even get started on my trading post yet until I upgrade the garrison to tier three. So we're going to leave it alone. And I don't have um, small plots. You have Alchemy Lab, Enchanter Studio, Engineering Works, Gym Boutique, The Salvage Yard. Oh, I can do The Salvage Yard. The Salvage Yard does generate garrison resources. So you can have the lumber mill, the garrison um, trading posts and the salvage yard. So now I have 1209. It's going to take away 50 garrison resources and 150 gold. I should be able to find some rares and recoup that 50, but let's just get started. It takes an hour to finish. All right. So, and I don't, I think I have any missions that yield gold, right? No, garrison resource. So if I send that guy out, that's five garrison resources. This one doesn't, it just yields gauntlets. I'm not really concerned about that. And anything over here? Apex is crystals. Yeah, that's a no. So. Now, who else? Um, if you have unlocked Tanan Jungle here, there should be I need to unlock my fishing shack, but it doesn't yield garrison resources. Um, that's pretty much it. So at the moment, I'm it kind of in a holding pattern. I can go hunt some rares and recoup the 50 garrison resources I just spent. That shouldn't be a problem. And then I can, while I'm out, I can collect more timber um, and then turn them in once um, those two work orders are complete. But for the moment, we are still sitting at 
1,159 garrison resources. Now, by the end of today, I don't know how much those two work orders will generate as far um, as at the lumber mill. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be enough to get me to 2,000. So I may have to hunt some more rares. Um, and let me just write that down. I'm at 1159. Garrison resources at the moment. And it is 157 p.m. So I think I'm going to end the video here. And the next video I will be harvesting the work orders from the lumber mill. And hopefully by then I will have found some more rares. And um, have more garrison resources from hunting bows that can get me to the 2000 because basically I want to have a fully operational tier 3 level garrison by tomorrow I hope tomorrow would be October 30th and that way we can do the daily quest um, to decorate our garrison because I do want to do that so that's all for this video hope you enjoyed it got some kind of value out of it if you did um, consider giving this video a like subscribe and I will see you in the next video take care